Welcome to this crazy YouTube channel full of art books. Uh, wiki wiki. We are looking into the art of the Batman. Uh, this book was a Christmas gift from my wife and I'm really glad she gave it to me. I must say, I don't know what you think about the movie. My opinion is that this was the best Batman I've ever seen. Uh, I know towards the end it got a bit slower, but I like that. That's something I enjoy. I also enjoy a long movie. I don't need it to be ah, screaming and action and stuff all the time. I can also just relax during a movie and still remain in the world. This one certainly achieved it and I'm glad that I have this art book because I'm really curious about uh, the art of the Batman. Written by James Field, forward by Matt Reeves. Super cool. Of course I would be interested because I'm supposed to say that, right? I'm, I'm super interested in your opinion of the movie and of course uh, I want to see uh, all the toxicity in the, <laughs> in the comments where you put out death threats to whomever has been working on this because you didn't like it. Seriously, I totally enjoyed everything about this. And I thought that Robert Pattinson pay, played an excellent, seriously, absolutely excellent Batman. I liked everything about it. I'm just going to keep repeating myself at this point. I like that it was an actual detective movie. I like the detective aspect on, on all of that. Um, I liked how they showed the tools. I liked the, the fact that his uh, armor was very functional, but also clunky. And that he wasn't just this invincible super fighter, but that a lot of, I don't know, his, his capability came from, um, that the capability of him as a superhero came from uh, his gadgets and all that. I also like the Batmobile. That's something that a lot of people have had really strong opinions about. Yeah, I think this is Ash, yeah, oh, Ash Thorpe did some incredible work. Yeah, yeah, he, he worked on the, on the on the car. I liked it. I liked it. I liked that it didn't have to be this this absolutely. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm still, I'm still in love with a Batmobile of Michael Keaton. It's it's the Batman I grew up with, you know. So for me, this was always like an amazing design. I mean, you see it right behind me, uh, the Lego one. Um. But this one I liked because it looked like a practical car that was just enhanced. Something the A-Team would build to break through a wall or something, you know? I really liked that. I liked that, I liked that, I liked that. I liked also the villains. I thought the Scarecrow... Like, you know that someone is a really great actor when you actually hate him in his role. And that's what, what where some people are just going batshit crazy and batshit crazy. <laughs> uh, crazy and then uh, uh, attack uh, like King Joffrey or something for playing his role too good. And then they're like issuing death threats and all that shit. Um... But him, the Riddler, was just played fucking brilliant. Really brilliant. I loved everything about it. Yeah. Yeah, like a like the brilliant psycho that he is. I don't understand why people like why why they always have like fucking weird writing in this. Like I, I, nobody sits down and thinks like like let me write super creepy because that's expected by me because I I am the villain. 
I never understood that in any movie. That just doesn't make any sense to me. It never looks like a quick note or something. It always looks like, oh yeah, I have to write this in a super creepy way. That's what it looks like. And that's also what I don't buy. Lieutenant James Gordon. Excellent performance. That's also that was also interesting the the connection of 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 Batman and the police the way it was depicted here the way that the police didn't really like him and that was just just Gordon you know that was that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, that was another thing, like Catwoman. That was super good, super great performance. Super good. Kind of sound like Schwarzenegger. Super good. Super good. Anyway. Yeah. The idea to just have her like have this 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 mask also super good super good it was weird to see him in this role because he will always be Jesus from the Big Lebowski i mean he's he's been so many other things he was great in O Brother Where Art though but i i could never take him serious as a bad mobster Kind of guy. I don't know. He will always be a funny dude for me. I mean, they, they had to do all these things to to DeVito playing the penguin back then. So, so you don't think he's funny anymore, you know? It's like, because it was Danny DeVito. He's hilarious. And he always will be. So they had to do, absolutely deform him. So you don't feel that way about him anymore. This is a really cool book. Anatomy of a Scene. been cool to, to have more credits in this concept art section like whenever there is something it would just be great to have more names there I always enjoy that um, maybe not just mention something in a huge text but also I don't know you have you have this subline anyway why don't you just extend it with the name of the person that we see the work from off that would be cool. Hope. The need for a hero. Yeah. Like, look at this suit. Just really friggin' cool. Absolutely. Designer Liam Flanagan. Great job. Really great job. Abrams Books. So this is um, 35 pounds or $45. Let me check if I see if I find a link that I can attach to the video. A really great art book. I like it. It would have been even better if it had like black edges and stuff. Yeah, really cool. I like the spot UV thing. I mean, it, by now it's been nothing special anymore to do that, but uh, it's on brand, it's really good. I hope you liked the little flip through here. I hope you liked the movie. Let's chat a bit about the movie in a civil way, if you want to. And um, yeah, let me know what you think about the book. And until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>